Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have steel mills, zeppelins and prisons all over the place. Right, a lot of maps released in the last seven days. Five plus maps, I believe. This is just some mods that caught my eye, just in case you you should go and check out the workshop. You're gonna find something new for yourself. Let's get cracking. Dr. Jones and Tiny Substation, Tiny Electrical Substation only provides 1.45 megawatts made for underground electricity cables in mind, but also works for overground cables. There is a visual bug when you hover over it uh, in the building menu, it shows some extremely high electricity value I know what is causing this but it's only visual so not to worry okay we're gonna address those issues so we have here the 1.45 uh, megawatt um, substation now I can't emphasize enough how important this is uh, I still didn't test it properly in my cities but I definitely will this could be revolutionary i'm gonna go into details and potentially it's my favorite mod this one monday for now it's my favorite mod in one monday uh, just because the issues it um, uh, addresses now this is just a substation we're gonna just double check the connectivity it would be nice if we had more than one but hey ho you can see here that it's meant for underground cables and let's talk about the underground cables f3 you can see where it can actually have underground cables but so the, the the problem with the, this with the substations in the game is that they're all hard coded for uh, two and a half megawatts of power. You can see here two and a half megawatts. Now no cables in the game can provide this power. Medium voltage cables, even for the overground cables, they go only to 2.35. Why is this important? Because calculations for your maximum consumption are straight away you can throw it out of a window because they absolutely make no sense because they are coded for two and a half megawatts, which no cable in the game can provide you with. And then we have some of the modded versions, which probably gonna find themselves uh, in, in vanilla. This is Rob's substation, which, had, which has multiple connectors but they don't work properly as well you can see here they're also coded for two and a half megawatts now this one is coded for 1.45 which is perfect perfect for your underground cable so for me for now this is the perfect substation i will test it out a little bit more but there's there's nothing else to say about this like thank you so much dr lopez for this i'm gonna be using potentially only this from now on now it costs 400 rubles it's half the price of the or of the other substations it has less capacity it's less in size less of a footprint as well which is absolutely ginormous thing uh does it even have collisions it doesn't have even collisions this is this is perfection this is what we wanted thank you so much dr lopez definitely for now my favorite mod is mod monday link in the description of the video mr robs 074 four open storages with the capacity 1260 2600 1900 and 4300 tons versions for storing vehicles are also available so you can see here there are two different versions some of them have railroad tracks attached to them like these ones here and they have beautiful cranes overhead uh, for loading the vehicles actually well actually all of them have i'm sorry i noticed uh, i thought that i didn't see it on one of them but th that's fine all of them have cranes over it this is this is again the quality of these mods new mods this this is as you can see for vehicles i cannot purchase anything here but uh, these ones can have uh, some of the bricks we can load here so we can see how it looks like when it's being loaded uh, absolutely beautiful new open storages this is exactly what we needed it what we needed in this game uh, i'm just gonna show you uh, robs didn't have open storages before i believe they were all covered and a lot of people like to have the um, this kind of construction materials, boards, bricks, steel, and uh, prefab panels uh, in open storage just so we can see how much you have just in case if there's any problems and I 100% agree with that. This is exactly what we needed. This is my second favorite mod, of course, connections on all sides. As it should be, they have three, do they all have three? I believe they all have three uh, bays for loading trucks, but also cargo station is probably a good option if you want more than that. Anyway, for more detail, all right, we need to 
compare it with vanilla, but it's Rob's, so I don't see the point of this. Vanilla one fourteen thousand, Rob's is once is double the price, depending on which one you wanted. The cheapest one is uh, almost the same price, so yeah, quite a realistic mod, realistic price. Link in the description of the video. Right, CNG compact steel mill by Trax eighteen twenty one and so mad. Recorded by Price, so blah, 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 blah. all the credits go to the revision for the model and textures, whatever, they are providing this, uh, you know, because <laughs> the, the, the models are providing free servers for extending the game. So CNG compact steel mill plus emissions reduced by CNG only 10 tons per year, slim and compact design, handy for maps with very little or no coal deposit, simple and uncomplicated handling, specially adjusted smoke color and intensity to fit CNG furnace, looks neat with uh, uh, Wild Bunny's little gas summer storage mod and the compact steel mill heated with uh, by CNG instead of coal. In game it uses uh, resource oil, uh, produces half of the annual emissions of the conventional coal-fired steelworks due to the higher energy density of the CNG com uh, compared to coal. It takes um, 86.2 tons of CNG uh, to replace 184 tons of coal. However, the factory still needs three tons of coal carbon per day for the production hardening of the steel. So yeah, so um, for more details, you're gonna have to go and see the details of this. But uh, yeah, in the in production of steel, uh, steel is just iron with added carbon for uh, toughness. Uh, I think it's under 2% coal in the uh, steel production, of course, you have a loss to slag and other stuff, so yeah, whatever, you know, it's it's perfect, this is perfect balance, and of course you have uh, crude oil and a lot of electricity to produce uh, this steel, so heat comes from the oil and electricity, I would say, and the, the 3% is absolutely perfect, you can do that with charcoal, there's mods for in this game for making charcoal, uh, which you don't even need a coal source, it would be quite realistic, and of course it has productivity of 21 tons of steel, which is half, I think 21 and a half, or 43 is the vanilla one, um, we're gonna go straight away, jump in and compare it to the vanilla steel mill, you can see that it's a quarter of a size, third of the size, Definitely less than half the size of vanilla one in size. Uh, productivity, as I said, is around half. It's 43, half of that will be 21 and a half, and this game doesn't like and a halves, so it is what it is. I think it's ingenious new way of producing steel, and uh, I'm just gonna go and check out the price tag. Price tag is actually more than, than half. This is interesting, which makes it um, quite realistic price-wise. Pollution is way lower, but that's again for using so much less coal, a little bit more oil. This is definitely, definitely something that I'm gonna have on my radar every time I make a steel mill, and for God's sake, God's, guys, please make it without railroads. <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be all done by railroads. I know 20 tons, uh, is a lot per day and internal storage is 300 tons. That's a lot of internal storage. I have to say it's a compact steel mill and yeah, I'll criticize it. I'll criticize it. Internal storage of 330 tons is a little bit too much. If you go for, let's say, uh, vanilla storage, uh, vanilla open storage, small one. Ah, okay, okay. I, I might be wrong here. Let me see if we can... Can we buy steel? No, we can't. I wanted to see where the steel is stored. But yeah, I think it would be a stretch if you put 330 tons. I would rather it to have a lot of connections on the sides like it does and have external storage for steel, which also negates the need for railroads. Let's use the proper wording in this case, negates the needs for mods. I, I mean railroad. So yeah, you, I, I would like more buildings without railroads. We have railroad infrastructure and uh, you would want to have more realistic railroad infrastructure like base for longer trains and so on and so on, but this is just my two cents. Anyway, for more details, link in the description of the video. As a proper Slav, I'm gonna be butchering this Asateagula you know, Lighthouse. Asatig? Asatig Lighthouse? Okay, let's go with that. By Lex713. Asatig Light Lighthouse is a 142 foot tall, 43 meter lighthouse located in the southern end of Asatig Island 
off the coast of Virginia and Eastern Shore United States. I decided to make it as well as uh, celebrate a small milestone of 400 subscribers to my Steam Workshop. Yay, go Alex. Sorry, go Lex, I apologize, 713. I'm a subscriber of uh, most of his mods, if not all of them, so yay. Uh, we have, uh, we have like, what, two, three million? Uh, anyway, the more details in the description of the video, but um, you're gonna have to go and read that. So this is a, uh, this is a lighthouse that uh, works as an attraction. It's actually Absolutely perfect addition to any of your uh, any of your uh, cities. I can say at the same time this looks too clean and too dirty. At the same time, the colors are a bit on the bright side, but definitely looks if it's going to be an industrial area, or 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 not neglected but battered by the Atlantic winds and and weather. So it, it looks. I think the textures are nice. I think the colors are a little bit on the bright side, but um, that's just my two cents, and I have limited. Whoa, look at the details on this. You can see the mesh. Where is it? You can see the... Uh, let's do it like this. You can even steal the, see the steel, not a mesh, but the wiring around the lighthouse itself. Absolutely beautiful model. Anyway, this is an attraction. Let's see if we can compare it to anything in the game. Where would that be? Cafe, beach bar, restaurant, carousel. Uh, one second. Sorry about that. We have... Why can't I find it? My bad, my bad, guys. Uh, viewpoint? Ah, here we go. Yeah, so it's a, it's a side tower. Uh, you can see it here compared 8,000 rubles compared to some of these big monstrosities. I think it's fair, especially because it's beautiful, uh, how beautiful it looks. Anyway, for more details, link in the description of the video. Historic prison, an old military fortress and prison dating back to Tsarist times. This building can be used uh, as re uh, to re-educate or liquidate enemies of the state, employs 25 guards with a room for 100 prisoners. Museum or a political oppression also available. <laughs> uh, really cool. So this is um, Mr. Wizard, Mr. Novo's mod and uh, absolutely beautiful. I don't actually know if this is uh, Tsarist times is the only thing that we know. It could be the architecture, but also it could be the, the prison itself. I, I I'll, I'll have to ask where does it come from because it looks really really beautiful but uh, let's compare it to vanilla one of course you have a, uh, I, uh, this is the attraction that's a museum so if we go all the way to our tourist attractions and we go to the museum of the republic would that be not really art gallery here we go it has a little bit more uh, rating but it's a little bit more pricier so quite realistic in size eh, it could be double the price i always i always think that you know just price it as much as you can it, it's reasonable and, and it's gonna be fine whoever wants to build it is gonna build it and the prison itself 100 prisoners i don't think we have many options for prisons in vanilla we have two prisons one of them is i think 45 here we go and 100,000 rubles 26 this is uh well let's say that it has half the i think it's realistically priced like usually mr novo does so for more details link in the description of the video Billman 007 uh residential building type 1-439a-46 now, there's a history of this building, as Billman usually gives you all the details, I'm gonna read just some of it, you will have to go and check it out yourself, because I love the way he presents it, also there's models in the, the workshop as well that you can see what you're buying or getting for free in this, in, in every case in the workshop. I present to you the small residential building of the series 1 dash whatever, a residential building of this series will build in many cities in the USSR, project block houses. Uh, developed 1958 uh, uh, Gorstroy project, a nine-story building series began um, to build in the mid-60s. Buildings are assembled from large concrete blocks of series blah blah and massively, re uh, massively residential buildings of this series were built from the mid-1960s to early 1980s. In the game, these houses were built of bricks so that they can be built on uh, at the very start of the game without any research okay that's interesting uh, maybe maybe um and the housing quality 80 percent which is the only thing important so bricks i will still stick to reality of the things i mean you can import ah 
yeah you need the research for this yeah I, I don't know what to say a research could be a little bit tricky um, you know to get the prefab panel buildings and stuff 80% quality is my limit low limit so I would say that this is for my from my book these are the low limit buildings that I would build um, and having it available from the beginning is definitely a positive side but yeah they do look like there I, I also like realism at the same time now I, I, there's nothing much to say about Billman's work it's uh, flawless as usual uh, the details on them are absolutely glorious you can see from the inside all the balconies that were built windows absolutely gorgeous color schemes everything absolutely nothing to say negative about it it's your usual villain makes great great work anyway i will leave this to you to decide and i'm just gonna double check the billman's price of the houses 20 uh, 86,000, 68,000, 28,000, 28,000 is more expensive than the equivalent vanilla building in this price tag so quite realistic in price as well link in description of the video Astra Trilobed airships by Calderian. Uh, in the 1910s, your republic uh, struck a deal with Astra Torres airship manufacturing company. This mode adds a semi functional airship based on the pre war Astra Torres Trilobed models with an average speed of 65 kilometers per hour and the carry capacity of 3 tons of material or 10 tons passengers. These vehicles offer a lighter yet faster alternative to the lumbering giants built in the germany uh, each vehicle comes with a set of skins feedbacks are appreciated as always feel free to request additional skins so there you go everything is listed there in the description i have to say that uh, why is this thickened it looks like it's thickened it's thicker maybe it's just a, some some kind of a uh, okay anyway uh who doesn't like a good zeppelin who doesn't like a good zeppelin okay let's see what they're for so this one is for oil four tons of fuel can be uh, transferred with this one we have three tons of wood three tons of steel or less uranium oxide yeah you should uh, carry that with zeppelins airship 101 three tons of the loose cargo over here and we have 10 passengers see this one so beautiful zeppelins now can we compare them to something uh, we can you can give it a go we can give it a go but uh, i wouldn't go for it uh let's go all the way the zeppelins three thousand rubles each the cheapest planes i don't even know if this is comparable cheapest planes five thousand rubles these are the small ones that we have but the speed is uncompare incomparable so we cannot really compare them i, I wouldn't compare them to anything anyway uh, i would say that this is quite realistic if you want to have something beautiful as this link in the description of the video Durkan and Montañas de Mica. I'm butchering other languages, so why the hell not Spanish? Montañas de Mica. Mapa difficil un nuevo mapa de. Okay, whatever. The difficult map, a new Mica map with the very steep mountains and little space to build. Can you make the Soviet Republic prosper in these landscapes? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Um, this is quite difficult. I would say challenge. No, I'm not gonna accept the challenge. I, I will give it a go, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be recording on the on my videos this. But uh, this is really interesting. Um, maybe, maybe we'll see. I'm not promising anything. But let's go and check out what is so special about this map. Now look at this terrain here. Actually, you know what? I think it's better. Let's press F3 and uh, sorry F2 and let F2 tell you <laughs> uh, what's the story with the map. So. Uh, this is the story with the map if you go into uh, if you go internally into this map look how far we are in the map we barely went anywhere and it's already like look at this these fjords here they are so inhospitable to, to construction that it's embarrassing you do get couple of nice places uh, where some construction possible but I think it's gonna be a lot of a lot of bulldozing since most of the transport anyway needs to go by roads you will have to build an infrastructure even to expand in this direction now you have two soviet borders and you have one nato border which is you might as well don't have it because they're like it's really hard to get to. i don't know i don't know it has some romance to it and this is the reason why it took this map now be, look, look at this if i press f2 again look at these beautiful canyons here like navigating roads bridges and stuff around here could be quite nice old gala if you're watching this what do you think about this map 
Right, uh, resources I hear you say. Uh, cold, um, now resources are not a problem, which is kind of surprising because I thought that this is going to be more difficult. I would base like resources a little bit more inwards that you have to go and get them. Like you can always start with manufacturing on each side of the border. Let's just double check the other Soviet border. Um, it's a big border that Tuliki doesn't like. It does have railroad infrastructure as well. Um, terrain is difficult to build here relatively i think anyway yeah it would be interesting challenge to give it a go here of course i probably would start on this border and uh, go from there but then again like i said resources play a huge role we already have coal close by here and then we have iron a little bit further in the mountains now this is a little bit of a challenge because you have to get people to here and then we have the oil which is mostly under the sea uh, some of them a little bit on the shore that would be a struggle to get uranium is in the mountain as well and uh, bauxite is high 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 in the mountains far away from everything so yeah it would be quite challenging i think it's a good challenge for you if you want to give it a go anyway i'm gonna leave it here i'm gonna say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support channel, I have a description of the video thanks for watching guys see you in the next one bye bye